Hello friends, welcome to BAMU's Biogenius. Today we will discuss about questions and answers of 18th Biogenius 2024. So let us start with the question number one. Entomophily appeared during the age of. This question is from paleontology. In set B, this question is question number nine. So A, pteridophytes, gymnosperms, angiosperms and none of the above. So you can see here the answer is B, gymnosperms. So entomophily appeared during the age of gymnosperms. See, you can see here before Cretaceous, the, some of the insects were evolved and these insects, they started to associate with the, the gymnosperms to transfer the pollen. So entomophily means uh, uh, transfer of pollen grains from one plant to another plant with the help of the insects. So the question number one answer is B. Gymnosperms. The question biochemistry guy, question number two, idli butter contains rice and dal in a proportion of 3 to 1. As we all know, uh, this proportion is a perfect proportion that is uh, uh, rice is 3 and dal is 1, 3 is to 1 proportion. Now, if you want to serve idli to a diabetic person, if you want to serve a diabetic person, then what do you want to do? Look, the options are uh, increase the particle size of rice or increase the particle size of dal. So, the answer is uh, 1 only, that is increase the particle size of rice. Now, what benefit the benefit? See, the Rice ka jo particle size hai, wo agar zyada bada hoga, to naturally usko digest karne mein zyada time lega. Aur yehi diabetic person ko chahiye ki dhire dhire wo digest ho, aur dhire dhire glucose release ho, taaki uske blood mein glucose jaldi zyada jama na ho. So increase the particle size of rice will benefit the diabetic person. So this is the answer of question number two. Now we will move on to third question that is due to increased CO2 emissions the pH of oceanic water A has increased, B has decreased, C remained as it is or D can't say. So the answer is C answer is B has decreased. Matlab, decrease hota hai matlab? अगर सात होगा तो छह होगा पांच होगा चार होगा तीन होगा लाइक दैट डिक्रीज हो रहा है मतलब एसिडिक हो रहा है तो ओशनिक वाटर का जो पीएच है ड्यू टू द इंक्रीज्ड इमिशन ऑफ CO2 वो एसिडिक होते जा रहा है सो दैट इज वेरी डेंजरस सो द आंसर इज बी देन क्वेश्चन नंबर 4 इलेक्ट्रोपोरेशन टेक्निक इज यूज्ड टू डिलीवर डायगाश इन तो ये मॉलिक्यूलर बायोलॉजी का क्वेश्चन है ऑप्शन से ए जेनेटिक मटेरियल बी वायरस सी मेटल नैनो पार्टिकल एंड डी बैक्टीरिया तो आंसर है जेनेटिक मटेरियल आंसर ए सो इलेक्ट्रोपोरेशन टेक्निक में क्या होता है कि जेनेटिक मटेरियल अगर सेल के अंदर इंजेक्ट करना है तो इलेक्ट्रोपोरेशन टेक्निक यूज करते हैं ताकि व्हाटएवर द जेनेटिक मटेरियल दैट कैन बी इंसर्टेड इनसाइड द सेल Now again the question number 5 is of biochemistry. In prokaryotes, epigenetic regulation of gene expression is done with the help of an enzyme called dihydrase. A option, DNA methyl transferases, B glutathione transferases, C riboflavin synthase and transketonase. The answer is DNA methyl transferases, answer is A. So, Whenever prokaryotic genetic regulation of gene expression is done, uh, DNA methyl transferases, these are the kind of uh, enzymes that are used to transfer methyl group to the DNA. So, this is the epigenetic regulation of gene expression. Now, uh, we will go to question number 6. Again, from molecular biology, which of the following neurotransmitter 
neurotransmitters will be niche in a person who is under depression uh, a dopamine b anandamide c serotonin and d all of the above the answer to this question is all of the above so in a person jo bhi person depression ka shikar hai usme ye sab teeno uh, ki matra kam ho jati hai dopamine anandamide and serotonin so the answer is all of the above then question number seven recently government of india announced vaccination to prevent cervical cancer yes who discovered the causative agent of cervical cancer in human papilloma virus so options are eo wilson ian wilmot don triplet and harald zur hussein so the answer is c d HZ Hussein. So recently, he last year he died. So he was a Nobel Prize winner in 2008. Then question number eight. The logo of this year's Biogenius is a chameleon painting done by Dadesh. He was a famous Mughal court artist and famous for his natural history illustrations. Uh, option A, Govardhan, Ustad Mansur, Meer Sayyad Ali, and Bhavani Das. Answer A, Jo logo aap dekh rahe hai, ye jo logo hai, ye logo Ustad Mansur ne banaya hoa hai. Jab, jo painting hai, us par se humne logo liya hai. To ye Ustad Mansur ki painting hai. Aur Ustad Mansur, Akbar aur Shah Jahan ke darbar mein, aaj uh, artist thai, इनके साथ ये भी लोग थे गोवर्धन भी थे मीर सैयद अली भी थे और भवानी लाल भी थे ये चारों मुगल कोर्ट के आर्टिस्ट हैं पर उस्ताद मंसूर ये जाने जाते हैं नेचुरल हिस्ट्री पेंटिंग की उनका फेमस पेंटिंग है डोडो वो डोडो को ऐसा कहते हैं कि डोडो को सामने ला के उन्होंने पेंटिंग की है तो वो एक आउटस्टैंडिंग पिक्चर है जो डोडो आज एक्सटिंक्ट है पर उनकी पेंटिंग में अपने को देखने मिलता है तो आंसर ही इज उस्ताद मंसूर ये है ओरिजिनल पेंटिंग जो हमने डिस्प्ले पे स्टार्टिंग में भी लगाई है नाउ द क्वेश्चन नंबर 9 क्वेश्चन नंबर 9 मॉर्फोलॉजी से है ये सेट बी में क्वेश्चन नंबर 1 है सो क्वेश्चन नंबर 9 इज व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग आर कॉल्ड एज रेस्पिरेटरी रूट्स a. Hostoria, B. Dematophores, C. Phyllode and D. Tactoid. Now, Hostoria, we all know that Hostoria is in fungus. The answer is B. Dematophores, mostly in the coastal area, which is in the beautiful area, which is in the beautiful area, these Dematophores are in the beautiful area. Phyllode, this is a modified petiole, कशिया में जैसा पाया जाता है और टैप रूट जो टैप रूट अपने टैप रूट सिस्टम जो है वो डाइकोट्स में पाई जाती है सो द आंसर इज बी देन क्वेश्चन नंबर 10 है एनिमल बिहेवियर से रिसेंट स्टडी फाउंड दैट सम इंसेक्ट्स गैदर अराउंड द लाइट सोर्स ड्यू टू डार्सल लाइट रिस्पांस डीएलआर दिस टाइप ऑफ बिहेवियर इज मोस्टली सीन इन डायरेश इसका आंसर है मॉथ्स सो so, ये जो नेचर कम्युनिकेशन की स्टडी है व्हाई फ्लाइंग इंसेक्ट्स गैदर एट आर्टिफिशियल लाइट इसमें इन्होंने स्टडी की है कि मॉथ्स आप देखते हैं कि हम जब भी मॉथ का ट्रैप लगाते हैं तो मॉथ का ट्रैप जब भी लगाते हैं तो हम लाइट लगाते हैं और बहुत सारे मॉथ्स उसको अट्रैक्ट हो जाते हैं तो दिस इज द रीजन this is known as a dorsal light response uh, towards the light. So answer is C. Now the question number 11. Ye public awareness ke First December is observed as Diadash and Diadash Day. So is mein apne ko do option choose karne ke Antarctica Day hai, World AIDS Day hai, या वर्ल्ड मॉस्किटो डी है 
तो ऑप्शन ए है वन एंड टू ऑप्शन बी है टू एंड थ्री ऑप्शन सी है वन एंड थ्री एंड द लास्ट वन इज नन ऑफ द अब तो इसका आंसर है वन एंड टू दैट इज अंटार्टिका डे एंड वर्ल्ड एड्स डे तो फर्स्ट दिसंबर को ये दोनों आते हैं अंटार्टिका डे इज सेलिब्रेटेड ऑन फर्स्ट डिसम्बर बिकॉज इन नाइनटीन फिफ्टी नाइन द अंटार्टिका ट्रिटी वॉज साइन इंटरनेशनली सो टू कमेमोरेट दैट पर्टिकुलर डे फर्स्ट डिसम्बर नाइनटीन फिफ्टी नाइन दर्स्ट डिसम्बर इज सेड एज अंटार्टिका डे वर्ल्ड एड्स डे इज ऑल्सो ऑब्जर्व ऑन फर्स्ट डिसम्बर वर्ल्ड मॉस्किटो डे बीस ऑगस्ट को है बीस अगस्त को रोनाल्ड रॉस ने ये खोज के निकाला था कि मलेरिया जैसे घातक बीमारी के पीछे मॉस्किटो एक वजह है तो इसलिए बीस अगस्त को वर्ल्ड मॉस्किटो डे मनाया जाता है क्वेश्चन था फर्स्ट दिसंबर तो ए इज द आंसर नो तो क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेल्व दिस क्वेश्चन बिलोंग्स टू एनिमल डाइवर्सिटी Sharks belong to A. Osteoptes, B. Chondroptes, C. Cyclostomes, D. Mammals. Answer है इसका Chondroptes. Because we all know that sharks or Chondroptes they are the cartilaginous species. So that's why they belongs to Chondroptes. Question number thirteen is about animal physiology. A lungfish lives in a muddy wetland. Instead of ammonia, it excretes its nitrogen waste in the form of a urea. Why? Option is A. It requires less energy to produce urea. B. It requires less water to excrete urea. C. It requires less temperature to synthesize urea. And D. It requires dry skin to excrete urea. Answer is it requires less water to excrete urea. Answer is B. Now the explanation for this answer is that all the fishes they are ammonotelic. That means they excrete their nitrogenous waste in the form of ammonia because they live in a water. So the ample amount of water is there to excrete. Ammonia because they have to just dissolve ammonia into water and excrete it. But in case of lung fishes, as they live in a muddy wetland, you the water is very less and conservation of water is necessary. So they devised a mechanism. They produced urea out of their nitrogenous waste and because of that. They require require very less water, so the answer is B. Now the question number fourteen is about immunology. Efferocytosis is done by phagocytes, RBCs, endothelial cells, or skin cells. The answer is the phagocytes. Phagocytes they are responsible for engulfing apoptotic cells. And these this this process is known as the efferocytosis. So the answer is A. So question number fifteen uh, is a diagram based biotechnology question. Which side of the electrophoresis plate bears a positive electrode? Option A side X, side Y, can be both. Can't say. अभी यहाँ पे देखो कि ये X साइड है और ये Y साइड है तो ये पूछा गया है कि विच इज द पॉजिटिव इलेक्ट्रोड तो जाहिर सी बात है कि जब भी हम डी एन ए फ्रैगमेंट्स को वेल्स में डालते हैं डी एन ए बींग निगेटिवली चार्ज सो निगेटिव इलेक्ट्रोड की तरफ डालते हैं और जब भी हम करंट पास करते हैं तो ये जो निगेटिवली चार्ज डी एन ए मॉलिक्यूल है ये पॉजिटिवली चार्ज की तरफ अट्रैक्ट होते हैं और इसलिए इसका सेपरेशन या बोलेंगे रिजोल्यूशन होता है और लार्जेस्ट फ्रैगमेंट जो रहते हैं वो वेल के पास रहते हैं स्मॉलेस्ट जो है वो दूर जाते हैं वेल से तो इस प्रकार डीएनए सेपरेशन होता है डीएनए बैंड्स का सेपरेशन अपने को दिखता है 
तो पॉजिटिवली इलेक्ट्रोड बोले तो साइड वाई ये आएगा आंसर इज आंसर बी सो द क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी आंसर इज डी Now the next question is question number sixteen. It is related with animal behavior. Which of the following are considered as the changeables? Uh, A. Light. B. Dark. C. Temperature. And D. All of the above. So the answer is D. All of the above because all these are the biological cues, and because of that, all biological cues are called as the changeables. So light, dark, temperature, all these, all these are the changeables. Uh, So that's why the answer is question number sixteen D, all of them. Now the next question is question number seventeen. This is about botany. This uh, in set B. This is uh, question number twenty-five. Last year, a resistant variety of Candida auris infected large population in America. It is bacteria, protozoa, virus, or a fungus. So we all know that. Uh, Candida albicans or like that. Candida species is a is of a fungus. So the answer is D. Question number seventeen. D answer. Now the next question is about the wildlife management. Uh, question number eighteen. Why two donkey breeding program is run by Indian government in Bikaner? This donkey breed is from A Turkey, B Russia, C France, and D South Africa. So the answer is C France. So why two donkey? That is a, a kind of a breed of a donkey. Now the next question is question number nineteen. Who wrote the famous book Eve on human evolution, which focuses on woman centric? Evolution. A. Yuval Noah Harari. B. Kat Bohanon. C. Eva Jablonka. D. Elaine Morgan. So the answer is Kat Bohanon. Answer B. So this is the book. How the female body drove two hundred million years of human evolution. Now the question number twenty. Consider the following statements about M. S. Swaminathan. Number one, he is considered as the father of green revolution in India. Two, he was the president of Worldwide Fund for Nature, India. Three, he was the director general of Indian Council of Agriculture Research. Which of the above statement statements is are true? A. One and two, B one and three, C two and three, and D all of the above. So the answer to this question is D all of the above. So all these statements are true about the great personality of Indian science that is M S Swaminathan. Now the next question is question number twenty one. This is about entomology. Pollination of flower by honey bee is called as A. Phalanophily, B. Psychophily, C. Cantharophily, and D. Melitophily. So the answer is D. Melitophily. So this is uh, an article that is published in Current Science uh, by Niveta Ramnathan and Janardhanan Sundaram. So a very beautiful article. Uh, in that, you can see in the table, melitophily is by bees, cantharophily by beetles, psychophily by butterflies, phalanophily by moths. So here, the question twenty-one answer is D. The question number twenty-two: Plants show view vary due to decline in the level of plant hormone. A. Abscisic acid. B. Zipper leaves. C auxins and D cytokinins. The answer is abscisic acid. So you can see here the seed is germinating in the fruit itself. 
so that is called as a unique array so the answer is a decline in the abscess acid the vvp plant shows unique array now the next question is question number 23 it is about ecology misty program launched by ministry of forest environment and climate change for plantation of dadash a mango b mangrove c mandarin and d malaysian palm so the answer is answer b mangrove so what is this misty program the long form of this misty program is mangrove initiative for shoreline habitat and tangible income so this is the program that is launched by ministry of environment and forest and climate change so the answer is b now the next question is about the biotechnology question number 24 name of the calf developed recently by cloning the geared breed of cow in ndri a bajrati b zamzam c adimaya and d ganga so the answer is ganga answer is d so you can see here this is a cloning of the gear breed of a cow so in center this is a ganga and her genomic donor is on the left side recipient mother is on the right side so this is answer is d question number 25 it is about developmental biology which of the following animals can be viviparous as well as oviparous so the options are a alluridly turtles b three toed skink c hummingbird and d echidna so the answer is a three toed skink so you can see here answer is b Question number 26. This is about reproductive physiology. Which animal can pause its pregnancy? A. Wallaby. B. Platypus. C. Humans. D. Elephants. So the answer is Wallaby. A. So these animals, they can pause their pregnancy. These are the actually marsupials. So most of the marsupials, they can pause their pregnancy. So the answer is A. Now the next question is question number 27, it is about biochemistry, match the biological molecules listed under column X with the functions given in column Y. So column X, biological molecules, column Y, functions. So first is the glucose, second is the hormone, uh, so cholesterol, third is the RNA and fourth is the glycogen. So column X contains biological molecules, column Y contains hormone synthesis, their functions, protein synthesis, storage product and energy production. Answer is A, that is P, glucose, energy production, cholesterol, hormone synthesis, RNA, protein synthesis and glycogen storage product. So the answer is A. Next question is about muscle physiology. That is question number 28. Smooth muscle tissue is present in A. Heart, B. Intestine, C. Abdomen, D. Brain. The answer is uh, intestine. Answer is B. So, smooth muscle tissue is present in intestine because it is a non striated muscles, especially they are spindle shaped. So, they cover the internal organs of the body. That is like intestine. So, the question number 28 answer is B. Now the question number 29 is about osteology. Consider the following pair or pairs of body part and associated bones. 1. Knee, patella. 2. Ear ossicles, ilium. And 3. Scapula, acromion. Which is the correct pair? 1 and 2, 1 and 3, 2 and 3, all of the above. The answer is 1 and 3. The answer is B. That is knee, patella that is the correct pair and scapula and acromion that is the correct pair now the question number 30 is about membrane physiology membrane phospholipids are synthesized by a golgi complex b endoplasmic reticulum c dna and d mitochondria the answer is b endoplasmic reticulum so most of the membrane phospholipids that are synthesized uh, by endoplasmic reticulum 
Now this is the most interesting question uh, that is about a uh, cell biology. Which of the following cell organelles are essential for protein synthesis and secretion? 1. Mitochondria, 2. Endoplasmic reticulum, C. 3. Ribosomes, 4. Nucleus, 5. Lysosomes and 6. Centrioles. The answer is uh, this one, B. 1, 2, 3 and 4. Mitochondria required for energy, endoplasmic reticulum, ribosomes and nucleus, all these are required for protein synthesis and their secretion. So answer is D. Now the next question is about microbiology. It is question number 32. In set B, it is question number 24. So which of the following pairs pair is correct? A. 1. Uh, marshy areas, thermoacidophiles. Number 2. Hot springs, methanogens. 3. Salty areas, halophiles. So the options are 1 and 2, 2 and 3, 3 only, all of them. So the answer is C, that is 3 only. This is only a correct pair, that is salty areas, halophiles, that are called as the halophiles. So answer is C. Now the next question is about agricultural ecology, question number 33. In set B, this question is question number 42. So, live stock greenhouse gas emissions is increasing day by day in India. Which of the following will be best strategy to reduce these emissions? Number one, reducing the live stock population by culling. Number two, identifying no methane produced, producing breeds of the live stock. And number three, identifying food which reduces enteric methane production. So, A, options A, A, 1 and 2, B, 2 and 3, C, 1 and 3, and D, all of the above. In India, the correct answer is 2 and 3, that is D. By identifying low methane producing grids of new stock, and 3, identifying food which reduces enteric methane production. So, the answer is B. Now the question number 34, this question is from plant embryology. From the following diagram of ovule, identify the egg cell. So the answer is D, that is this Z1 is a egg cell. Then question number 35, vascular system is absent in algae. Bryophytes, pteridophytes, gymnosperms, angiosperms. Answer is A, 1 and 2. Algae and bryophytes, they don't have a vascular system. So, question number 35, answer is A. Now, the question number 36. Most of the important cereal crops belongs to A, Apocynaceae, B, Poaceae, C, Liliaceae, and D, Malmaceae. The answer is Poesy, that is B. So, question number 36, answer is B. This question is from economic one. Now, the next question is, <coughs> question number 37, consider the following statements. This question is about forestry. Number one, timber producing trees like sal and tea belong to same family. Two, sal is found in northern India. And three, tea is found in southern India. Which of the above statements are two? So the answer is uh, C, that is 2 and 3 statements are true because uh, timber producing trees like sal and teak, they don't have a same family. Sal belongs to the Dipteropharpaceae and teak belongs to Lamiaceae. Sal, and, sal is found in northern India and teak is found in southern India, that is true. So the question number 37 answer is C. Now the next question is question number 38. For a diagnostic purpose, PET scan is recommended to detect exact location of cancer. PET scan uses dash labeled with radioactive isotope as a nutrient material. This question is from instrumentation. So this uh, options are A protein, B virus, C fatty acid, D glucose. So the answer is glucose that is D.
this question number 38 in set B is a question number 33. Then next is the question number 39. Chlorophyll pigments are present in A. Stroma, B. Thylakoid, C. Inner membrane of chloroplast and D. Outer membrane of a chloroplast. The answer is thylakoids. Answer is B. So you can see here in the diagram where these particular chlorophyll pigments are located. Now the question number 14. Last year's United Nations Climate Change 20th Conference of Parties, that is COP28 Summit, was held in A. Venice, B. Busan, C. Sharjah, and D. Dubai. The answer is Dubai. Answer is D. So question number 40. Answer is D. The next is a uh, question number 41. This period was characterized by the emergence of uh, coal swamps and the dominance of vascular land plants. So the options are A. Carboniferous, B. Devonian, C. Triassic period and D. Cretaceous period. Answer is uh, Carboniferous A. Now the question number 42. This is from anthropology. Humans belongs to which order in taxonomy? A. Mammalia, B. Homo, C. Primate, and D. Hominid. The answer is C. Primate. So the question number 42, answer is C. This question number 42 is in the set B is a question number 37. Then next is question number 43. One lizard can walk on the wall of wall with the help of data between its toes and wall surface. So this question belongs to biophysics. A options are A covalent interaction, B surface tension interaction, C ionic interaction, and D wonder wall interaction. So the answer is wonder wall interaction. Now the question number 44 is from taxonomy. This question in set B is question number 39. So dadash are categorized on the basis of their shape. Bacteria, invertebrates, vertebrates or viruses. The answer is bacteria. So you can see here coxi means rounded, bacilli means uh, double shape and spiral means spiral shape. So this is the question number 44. So the same type of question was asked in JAM, DCS JAM. So remember that this answer is bacteria. Next is question number 45. Which of the following issues should be considered during organ donation? This question is about ethics in biology. One, A, utility, B, justice, C, respect for a person, and D, all of the above. The answer is all of the above. Then, next question is question number 46 from applied biology. Which of the following material is required for vermicomposting? Number one, weed. Number two, cow dung. And number three, dry leaves and straws. The answer is uh, D, all of them. So, Jahir, you can see that you can see that worming composting is not going to be done. Feeds, cow dung, and dry leaves and straws. So, the question number 46 answer is D. Now, the question number 47. This is about uh, conservation biology. This is in set B, it is a question number 53. Gahir Matha. Marine sanctuary is famous for sharks, crayfish, seal, and turtle. The answer is turtle. Answer is D. Gair Mata Marine Sanctuary is uh, situated in a uh, Odisha coast. So this is the question from the conservation biology. The next question is question number forty-eight. This is again from the conservation biology. World Donkey Day is observed on. 1st December, 1st August, 1st September or 8th May? The answer is 8th May. 
so this particular animal is uh, utilized for many things one of the most important thing is to derive antibodies uh, from these uh, poor animals so that's why uh, the world community felt that there must be a donkey day where we can um, aware people about its we can say the importance of this particular animal and that's why this particular day is uh, celebrated on 8th may world donkey day so this question is from conservation biology now the question number 49 is from cell biology which type of a transport is highly selective type of a transport one simple two facilitated three active transport so the answer is b that is two and three facilitated and active transport is a highly selective type of a transport the next one is Question number 50. In India, one strand of DNA is attached to other strand with the dye dash. Covalent bond, ionic bond, hydrogen bond and coordinate bond. So, the answer is C, hydrogen bond. Then the question number 51 is again from uh, molecular biology. In case of eukaryotes, transcription of DNA is carried out with the help of the enzyme. DNA polymer is 1. RNA polymerase 2, RNA polymerase 3 or RNA primase. The answer is RNA polymerase 2. Answer is B. Now the next question is from plant physiology. Question number 52. Which of the following pair is correct? Ethylene proterapening, gibberellins loosening of clustering, cytokinase, cell division. So the options are a 1 and 2, B 2 and 3, C 1 and 3 and D all of the above. The answer is all of the above. So this is the question number 52, answer is D. Next is from the again plant physiology. Uh, in set B, this question number is 59. In set A, it is question number 53. Bolting in plants means a formation of fruits, formation of leaf, formation of seeds, or formation of lesion. Answer is formation of seeds. So you can see here, this is how the plants directly forms seeds. So answer is C. Now the next question is from evolution, question number 54. Evolution by natural selection was first proposed by John Gregor Mendel, Ernest Mayer, Lamarck, or Charles Darwin. As we all know, the answer is Charles Darwin. The answer is D. Then the next question is question number 55. In set B, this is question number 47. Please refer page B4. So, question number 55 in set A is a Minka rosea plant is used in. Perfumery, tannery, medicine, or beverages. We all know that Vinca rosea plants, these are used in a medicine, in a chemotherapy for cancer patients, when blastin and when christine, these are the two drugs that are prepared from Vinca rosea. And this is the answer that is question number 55, answer is C. Then uh, question number 56 from zoology or mostly microscopy. In oil immersion microscopy, cedar wood, cedar wood oil is used to see microscopic objects through microscope. This is because the refractive index of a cover slip is A more than the cedar wood oil, less than the cedar wood oil, equal to cedar wood oil or has nothing to do with the cedar wood oil the answer is equal to cedar wood oil you can see here so if cedar wood oil is not used the light disperses here if a immersion liquid cedar wood oil is used the scattering of light is prevented and we can see the clear image through the microscope so 
this is the explanation now the next question is from biology question number 57 biospeleology means the study of animals which die dash that is live in air live in caves live in wetlands or live on the mountains the answer is live in caves so question number 57 the answer is b then question number 58 which government is funding responsible antibiotic manufacturing program RAMP in India? The answer is Switzerland. So this question is from environmental science. Then question number 59. Which of the following cell organelles do not have double wall memory? This question is from cell biology. Options are nucleus, chloroplast, mitochondria, lysosomes and the answer is lysosomes. So as we all know, lysosomes have a single membrane. Other membrane or other organelles that is nucleus, chloroplast, mitochondria all have a double bond membrane. Now the next question is question number 60. It is from anatomy. See the following diagram of mouth and neck anatomy and identify the parts depicted as a V, W, X, Y, Z. The answer is D, that is V is a trachea, this one is a trachea, W is a parotid gland, this one is a parotid gland, X is a sublingual gland, Y is a epiglottis, this one, and Z is a esophagus. Now the next question is question number 61. This is about pharmacy. In set B, this is a question number 67. So why is a tincture ID used on the wounds? A. It binds to the plasma membrane of a bacteria. B. It penetrates in the bacteria and oxidizes the key proteins. C. It stops oxygen supply around microorganisms and D. It interacts with alcohol and produces strong acid. The answer is it penetrates in the bacteria and oxidizes the key proteins. So because of that these proteins or this particular bacteria will not function. So the answer is B. Question number 61. The answer is B. Then uh, this question, question number 62 is about molecular phylogeny. Consider the diagram and statement below it. One, gorilla is the closest relative of a human. Number two, humans and chimpanzees have a common ancestor. Which of the above statement, statements is are true? See, this is a clade, humans and chimpanzees and then gorilla. So the ancestors of humans and chimpanzees are common. Gorilla, human, chimpanzee ancestors are common. So the answer is two only. That is, answer is B. The humans and chimpanzees have a common ancestor. Gorilla is a closest relative of humans. From this diagram, we cannot say that chimpanzee is more closer than the gorilla. Now the question number 63 is about animal physiology that is carbamazone drug is used to treat A. Hypothyroidism B. Hyperthyroidism C. Malaria D. AIDS The answer is Hyperthyroidism Now the question number 64 Name the X in the diagram This question is from Neurobiology Options are cell body, exon, dendrites, synapse. So this X is a, a kind of a exon. So answer is B. Then question number 65. Consider the following statements. Fruit is formed only after fertilization. 2. Asexual reproduction in plants produce genetic variation. 3. Sexual reproduction occurs through flower of the plant. 
which of the following statements or we can say that above statements is are true about plant reproduction 1 and 2 2 and 3 1 and 3 all of the above the answer is uh, 1 and 3 fruit is formed only after fertilization and sexual reproduction occurs through flower after plant so these two statements are true the answer is c question number 65 answer is c Question number 66, this is from the pharma. Porcine zona pellucida, PZP vaccine is used to control dash population. Wild animal, olive red litter to snake or all of the above. The answer is wild animal. Wild animals like uh, wild boar, then uh, neil guy, these populations can be controlled with the help of such type of vaccine. So, this is the answer question number 66 answer is wild animal a now the next question is question number 67 in set b this question is question number 61 this question is about paleontology question number 67 that is the darkened region shown by arrow in the world map is the range of homo habilis homo erectus homo neanderthalensis and australopithecus the answer is uh, Homo neanderthalensis. Answer is C. You see that all these particular range is a range of a Neanderthal because mostly Neanderthals were found, the fossils of the Neanderthals were found in this particular region. So that's why it is considered as the range of uh, the Neanderthals. Then the next question is about applied biology which type of crab is used in a crab culture a black crab b mud crab c red crab and d all of the above the answer is mud crab that is answer is b question number 68 answer is b then question number 69 is about reproductive biology in case of humans thickness of a digash is important for implantation of a zygote fallopian tube endometrium vagina or fruity so the answer is uh, endometrium as we all know that the uh, the for a zygote to implant in the endometrium a certain kind of a thickness is required uh, in the endometrium so this is the question so question number 69 answer is b then question number 70 which part of a butterfly or a moth enables it to join two wings together during flight frenulum ambrosia arista or elytra the answer is frenulum answer is a so this question is about entomology so next question number 71 is about the genetics huntington's disease is a malformation of liver brain kidney gonad the answer is brain answer is B so question number 71 answer is B next question number 72 is about biochemistry which of the following is more acidic saliva blood seawater and urine the answer is obviously urine answer is D the next question is question 73 this is about cell biology in set B this is question number 81 which of the following are not prokaryotic cells bacteria blue green algae mycoplasma protist answer is protist answer is d so question number 73 d now the question number 74 it is about a membrane physiology consider the following statements about the diagram one fatty acid x is found in animal fat and number two fatty acid y is found in plant fat which of the above statements are true only one, only two, both one and two, both are false. So the answer is uh, both one and two are true because see the fatty acid X is found in uh, animal fat. So we know that animal fat is a saturated one. So it is uh, uh, the animal fat because it, uh, the they don't have these fatty acids of uh, animal origin. They don't have a double bond in them. But fatty acids Y, this is a fatty acid Y which is present in the plant. So you will find that a kind of a double bonds are 
present unsaturated fatty acid is there so double bonds are present and that's why they produce a kind of a kink so you will find that the plants at a room temperature they are liquid at a room temperature so uh, this is about the uh, fatty acids of a plant and animals so question number 74 answer is c now the question number 75 is about ethology. The dash is a cognitive bias that explains how an inferior third option can change how we decide between two options that are similar in value. A. Decoy effect. B. Prisoner's dilemma. C. Traffic effect. And D. All of the above. The answer is decoy effect. When we go to a shop and we like two things, तो दुकानदार क्या करता है एक घटिया सी थर्ड ऑप्शन अपने को दे देता है ताकि अपने को पहली जो दो चीजें जो पसंद आई थी उसमें चॉइस करने में आसानी हो इसको बोलते हैं डिक्वाय इफेक्ट सो क्वेश्चन नंबर 75 आंसर इज ए नो द क्वेश्चन नंबर 76 जीन इज ए फंक्शनल सेगमेंट ऑफ आरएनए दैट कंटेन स्पेसिफिक इंफॉर्मेशन बी फंक्शनल सेगमेंट ऑफ डीएनए that codes for a functional protein c amino acid chain that performs special function d a segment of dna and protein which performs special function so the answer is functional segment of a dna that codes for a functional protein so that is the definition of a gene the next is question number 77 which of the following animals are prone to toxoplasmosis Rat, cat, dog, both A and B. The answer is both A and B. We know that rat and cat both are prone to toxoplasmosis. Then question number 78. Antibiotics are produced by. This is the question from immunology. A. Viruses. B. Bacteria. C. Protozoa. And D. All of the group the antibiotics that are produced by bacteria so the answer is b then question number 79 on page b6 you will find question number 73 in set b so here in set a it is a question number 79 biological diversity act was enacted by the government of india in 2000 2001, 2002, 2004. The answer is 2002. Answer is C. So question number 79, C. Then question number 80. Which amino acid does not have a symmetric carbon atom? This is a question from the molecular biology. So the options are alanine, serine, glycine, and cysteine. So the answer is C glycine so we know that glycine has a uh, H hydrogen bonds uh, on the carbon so it does not have a symmetric carbon atom so and glycine is the simplest amino acid so question number 80 answer is C now the next question is from paleontology question number 81 Recently, 1.6 billion year old multicellular eukaryote fossil was discovered in A. China, B. India, C. South Africa, and D. Australia. The answer is China. The question number 88, 81, answer is A. Then next is a question number 82 from osteology section. Which bone is called as a wish bone in birds? scapula, coracoid, furcula or keel? The answer is furcula. Answer is C. Then question number 83. Which is an essential element required for oxygen transport in humans? This question is from nutrition section. A. Magnesium. B. Iron. C. Potassium. And D sodium the answer is as we all know answer is iron answer is b so question number 83 b the next is question number 84 christmas tree is a dadash 
angiosperm, gymnosperm, pteridophyte or none of the above? The answer is B. Gymnosperm. Okay. Question number 85. Consider the following pairs. This is the question from the developmental biology. Mesoderm gives rise to muscles, endoderm gives rise to nerve cells, ectoderm gives rise to skin cells. So, which of the above pair is correct? 1 and 2, 1 and 3, 2 and 3, or all of the above? The answer is 1 and 3, that is, mesoderm gives rise to muscle cells and ectoderm gives rise to skin cells. Nerve cells are also produced by ectoderm, not by endoderm. So, the pair 2 endoderm nerve cells is wrong. So, 1 and 3 is the answer. So, 85 answer is B. Now, the next question is question number 86. The book Sociobiology, the new synthesis is written by. This question is from Sociobiology. So, the options are E.O. Wilson, Ernest Mayer, G.G. Simpson and T.H. Huxley. The answer is E.O. Wilson. Answer is A. So, question number 86. Answer is A. Then, question number 87. Consider the following six statements. This question is from Immunology. In set B, this question is question number 94. So, A. Immunoglobulin G can pass through placenta. B. Human colostrum contains highest amount of IgG. Which of the above statement is correct? One only, two only, both statements are false, both are correct. So the answer is one only, that is immunoglobulin G can pass through placenta. So this question is from pharmacology, question number 88. An American company lost its patent right in India for the drug Bedaquili. This drug is a very effective against a. Malaria, B. MDRTB, C. Cancer, and D. Asthma. The answer is MDRTB. That is, the answer is B. Then, this question is in, on, in a set B. This question is question number 84 on page B8. Now, the next is question number 89. The process of flocculation is uh, used in this is a uh, uh, environmental science question a wastewater treatment b carbon sequestration c stubble burning and d incinerator so the answer is wastewater treatment so we know that in a wastewater treatment flocculation is a uh, very important process so the answer is a question number 89 a then question number 90 mitochondria are absent in prokaryotic cells rbc's and nerve cells this question is from cell biology. So, the options are 1 only, 1 and 2, 1 and 3, all of the above. The answer is 1 and 2. That is, in prokaryotes, you will not find mitochondria and in RBCs, you will not find mitochondria. So, this is the question number 90, answer B. Now, the next question is about plant physiology. Question number 91. In recent study, it has been found that some of the desert plants produce salt-like substances which absorb moisture from the air. The salt found was A. NaCl, B. Lithium sulfate, C. Sodium bisulfate and D. Potassium iodide. The answer is Lithium sulfate. Answer is B. So, question number 91. Answer is B. Next is uh, question number 92. In humans, amylase is secreted by this question is from animal physiology a parotid gland sublingual gland and liver b parotid gland sublingual gland and submandibular gland c parotid gland sublingual gland submandibular gland and pancreas d parotid gland sublingual gland and pancreas so the answer is parotid gland sublingual gland submandibular gland and pancreas so Question number 92 answer is C. Then question number 93. The enzyme used in PCR is a TAC polymerase, which is or uh, which was first obtained from 
A. Halophiles, B. Thermophiles, C. Pizzophiles, and A. D. Barophiles. So the answer is thermophile. So we know that TAC, T A Q, that comes from Thermus aquaticus. So these organisms are thermophiles. So these are the bacteria and uh, these are called as the thermophiles. So question number 93, answer is B. Then question number 94, in set B, this question is question number 87. So this is from invertebrate zoology. Question number 94, acorn worms belongs to platyelminthes, ascalinthes, anelids and hemichordates. The answer is hemichordates, answer is D. So question number 94, D. Then uh, next question number 95, bioturbation means, this question is from ecology. A. Movement of plants from one place to other. B. Movement of soil and sediments due to animals. C. Migration of humans from one place to other. And D. Migration of birds from north to south pole. So the answer is the migration of soil and sediments due to animals. So bioturbation means movement of soil and sediments due to animals. So question number 95. Answer is B. Then question number 96, vanilla flavored ice cream is very famous. The source of vanilla in vanilla ice cream is a gymnosperm, pteridophyte, an archid or a bryophyte. So this question is from a general awareness. When we have vanilla ice cream, vanilla flavored ice cream order, we don't know what is a vanilla. So that is a question. This is an orchid. So a kind of a flavor that is synthesized from this orchid that is the name given to this is a vanilla ice cream the ingredient chemical ingredient found in this this particular plant is a vanillin so this question number 96 is c answer is c the question number 97 is National Center for Polar and Ocean Research is situated in the state of Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, Goa, Maharashtra. The answer is Goa. Answer is C. Question number 97. Answer is C. Next is a question number 98. This is from Palynology. Pollen grains of one species differs from the other species. This difference is mainly on the basis of structure of exine, entine, Number of male gametes or all of the above? The answer is exine A. So, question number 98 A. And question number 99. In case of plants, primary tissue is the one which develops from apical meristem, develops from intercalary meristem, both A and B, and none of the above. So, this question is from plant anatomy. Answer is a, that is question number 99, answer is A, develops from apical meristem. And the last one, question number 100, who, who is the author of the famous book, Developmental Plasticity and Evolution? So this question is from Evolution. A, Scott Gilbert, B, Moira Smith, C, Janet Valentino, and D, Mary Jean West Eberhard. The answer is D. Mary Jane West Eberhard. Answer is D. Question number 100. Answer is D. So, this is the developmental plasticity and evolution. So, please subscribe to my YouTube channel Bamboo's Biogenius for latest uploads. Like my videos and comment. Thank you. And thank you for your cooperation uh, in Biogenius.